Welcome to The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andra Salazar. This is The Art of Comics channel. Today, we're talking about a freaking good book called Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. Boom. This is good stuff, okay? Shakauk. <laughs> Um, so a little story about this book. I've been trying to get it for a while. Just, I had, I got the first issue. Um, people were talking about it. The scuttlebutt was, it was good. There's this guy, Matthew Rosen, uh, Rosenberg. He's the bomb. Let's go get this book. I got the first issue. I didn't get the second. I couldn't find it. Blah, blah, blah. I saw him at Comic-Con a couple years ago. Seemed like a nice guy. Slightly aloof, but you can't judge a guy at Comic-Con. So he's, I'm sure he's a fine, lovely man. Had the beanie, bearded guy, so really easy to kind of blend in there. Nice guy, I'm sure. Not talking trash at all. Um, and I'm going to give him a lot of love here in a second. <laughs> so I, last this year, I finally went to the freaking Black, black Mask booth. I bought the damn thing. Um, Full price, I might add, because I wanted this book. I'm like, dude, I gotta get this book. I've been wanting it. Why did I want it? Because it is freaking funny. And there are not enough good, funny comics out there. And so I was like, okay, I'm getting this funny book. Um, I love the cover. Let's just look at this freaking cover. Look at how, you know, we're using three freaking colors. I love this kind of a, um, is it 60s? like 60s movie poster kind of style. Um, like spy, you know, 60s spy thing going. Really like it. Let's dive into this mama and let me tell you, let me sell you on why Four Kids Walk Into a Bank is bad ish. okay? Okay, let's talk about Four Kids in a Bank. Again, I talked about how much I love the cover. Um, let's go into the book itself. I really, really, uh, was a as a am a fan of this really cool way of doing titles with the kind of old school slideshow. There is a lot of love. There's a lot of vintage kind of love in here that I really dig. And um, I don't know. I just really like this design. I just like the way it works. Let's talk about. Uh, we're gonna talk about Matthew uh, Rosenberg, of course, the writing. But let's talk about the artist uh, Tyler Boss. I'm unfamiliar with him. I'm gonna be straight up. I'm gonna be word on you. Don't know what he's about, but I like it. <laughs> so I don't know what he's done before this. Um, and there's these like end pages that they make for each chapter and they all have some kind of a theme. This one is a Dungeons and Dragons kind of like end papers. And dude, I'm all about D&D. So it starts off really fun, kind of very modern kind of art style. Um, with this D&D game, right? And we go into that, and then it's just hilarious comedy, and they're arguing and bickering about playing D&D, &D, and you could tell someone is the dungeon master there. The dungeon master is the dragon, right? And they're trying to figure this out. And then we get what happened, the, the, the spilled soda and everything. Great panel layout, by the way, um, by Boss. I'm just going to call him Boss. That's a kind of cool name. What I loved about this is the characterizations, the kids... Um, I do have a little bit of a slight issue with Paige only because she, I feel like she's a little bit too much of the, you know, tough girl, tough chick as nail, you know, tough as nails chick, bossy kind of bratty chick. I'm a grown ass man, so it's hard for me to take bratty kids sometimes and she's a little too bossy and stuff, but hey, it's combo. What do you want me to do? Uh, we, we, we introduced these completely inept, you know, bank heist, uh, crim, criminals, ex-cons. They're connected to the father. I don't want to spoil it. We're going to spoil a little bit, so just suck that up. Um, great, another great kind of visualization tool, um, in storytelling is the use of these kind of insert imagery and icons for characters and kind of adding another layer of like comic bookness to it. This is what comics are for, is adding all these little iconography, adding all these little things that you could only do in comic books. This is not a movie script. 
You know, there might be one. He probably made this a, a spec script, but this is a comic book. And so it's got the comic book stuff into it. I really like this. Uh, I love this panel right here. Just that. That's the panel, you know? Uh, and then there's these little, like, insert kind of like um, little text moments that I really like. So great, great stuff. Characterization. I'm just going to show you. There was scenes. There was a scene that, that just, I said, I got to get this book. It's, <laughs> it's this. I love this. So you have this. These guys are chatting on the, the internet. You know, they're chatting about what's going on, their little caper that they're involved in. And then suddenly you've got this guy that just pops in like a chat room. And he cracks me up. When I read this, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a level of comedy to this that you don't see in comics today. Just good, man. It's just great blend of drama, comedy. You know, here's the next thing. It's just a good freaking book. Great story. The ending gets... So there, I mean, there's some very serious stuff going on. And one of the things that I was like ticked about, I was like, okay, I don't know how this is going to roll because these guys are playing with straight up fire, playing with like robbing banks and straight up criminals and they're getting away with a lot. And I'm like, is he going to just have them just get away with everything? The answer, no. It gets harsh. It gets real. And I actually like that. And that's what saved the book. If it was going to be haha ha, goo goo, I would have been ticked off, but it doesn't. Oh, by the way, there's a callback to that guy. And so we go back to this callback of the guy that they met in the chat room. I mean, there's just some great stuff in here. Um, some of the characters might be a slightly two dimensional, but you know what? You got what you got in this and it's so funny and it's so like good writing. It's worth it. So this book is... Really freaking good. Um, I think there was some delays in the beginning with the production or whatever. But let me tell you, it's worth it. I didn't even see this back matter stuff. Yeah, all these little like posters and different, you know, crime film. But yeah, definitely. Look at all these cool. Yeah, look at this. You know, Dog Day Afternoon, Dirty Harry, you know, um, Reservoir Dogs, all this kind of different poster. Jackie Brown. Yeah. Um, they know what they're doing, man. This is a great crime heist, kids, hijink, fun, good story. That is Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. Go get this book. I'm telling you, this is one of the better books out there. It's not that old. You can find it. Go get it. This is The Art of Comics. My name is Andre Salazar. Thank you for listening, guys. Subscribe, comment, all that kind of crap. I don't worry about it. Just have a great day. Peace out.